purchase of debentures for immediate cancellation, but this situation is what you have sinking fund, you are maintaining sinking fund and you are purchasing the debentures for immediate cancellation. Then an amount equal to the nominal value of the debentures cancel will be transferred from sinking fund to the general reserve account. If sinking fund is maintained, an amount equivalent to the face value of the debentures redeemed must be transferred from which account to which account, sinking fund account to the general reserve account. Profit or loss on cancellation will be first be transferred to the uh, sinking fund account is the point. Now, we are moving to the another situation called as purchase of debentures as a matter of investment. So, companies buy their own debentures as a form of investment in a, which in other words will save the amount of interest payable to the debentures. Why the people will purchase their own debentures with the two motives. One motive is if the debentures are with outsiders, you have to pay the interest. If those debentures at times when we have got surplus money, if we purchase, we need not pay the interest any further during the period when we are holding our own debentures. Second reason why people will purchase for earning the uh, profits. So, own debentures account will be debited with the actual amount paid irrespective of the nominal value of the uh, debentures is the point. So, own debentures account is just like an investment account. So, own debentures account added to bank. Then bank account added to own debentures as and when you make sale. And then on uh, maturity, if maturity date comes, own debentures can be utilized for cancellation of the regular debentures. Then the entry is a debentures account related to own debentures account. So, three ways debentures can be purchased and can be sold and then or alternatively they may be retained till the maturity and they can be used for cancelling the regular debentures is the point. Then profit on cancellation will be transferred to the general reserve. Profit or loss on redemption of debentures arises only on sale or cancellation. Try to understand friends. Profit you will never get by purchase of own debentures. Profit or loss will come only by either sale of the own debentures or using the own debentures for cancellation of the regular debentures is the point. When debentures are purchased but not cancelled, the total amount paid interest up to the date of purchase should be debited to the own debentures account and should be shown as an investment in the a balance sheet is the point. The entries are own debentures account data to bank. On cancellation, debentures account data to own debentures. The difference should be debited or created to the profit and loss on redemption of a debentures accounts. When debentures are straight away cancelled by acquiring them at come interest, then profit on cancellation is equal to nominal value of the debentures minus price paid minus accrued interest. What is this come interest and ex interest concept? Just have a understanding about the come interest and ex interest concepts. See, companies will issue the debentures and will pay the interest either 6 months once or once in a year. Let us suppose Chakrabarti got debentures of X limited. Now, on 30th June, Chakravarti received the interest from the company. Subsequently, what happened friends? On August 1st, Chakravarti is making a sale of these debentures to Rajani. Now, on 31st December, Rajani is going to get the interest from the company. How many months interest? 6 months interest she is going to get. Actually, she is entitled for what interest? From 1st August to the 31st December only. And from 1st July to 1st August, who need to get the interest? Chakravarti need to get the interest. But company will it see for how many days Chakravarti is holding, for how many days Rajani is holding? No. Company will say what? If you are holding for one month, if you are feeling that you are entitled for that one month interest, then do not come to the company, go to Rajani and collect the money. But Rajani, after 5 months, will she give the money to me? No. At the time of making a sale itself, I should be able to collect that accrued interest. So, in case if my quotation price is inclusive of that accrued interest, 
that we call it as a common interest quotation. In case if my quotation price does not include that accrued interest, then it is called as an X interest quotation. In case if my quotation price does not include that accrued interest, Rajani has to pay both towards the quotation price as well as the accrued interest. If it is a common interest, she will only pay the quotation price. I have to make a bifurcation of towards the sale how much, towards the accrued interest how much is the points. So, when debentures are straight away cancelled by acquiring them at common interest, then how do you calculate the profit? Profit is the nominal value of the what you call debentures minus price paid, but price paid must be from that price paid you have to deduct the interest accrued. So, what is the purchase cost? Purchase cost is in case of common interest quotation, purchase cost is amount paid minus accrued interest is the purchase cost. From the face value, if you reduce the purchase cost, you will be knowing whether you got the profit or the loss is the points. In case transaction is at an X interest, then quotation price itself is the purchase cost, in which case profit on cancellation is equal to face value minus quotation price. So, that makes the difference between the X interest and a common interest quotation. In case of common interest quotation, purchase price is what? Quotation price minus accrued interest, whereas in case of X interest, quotation price itself is the uh, purchase, uh, price is the points. Sinking fund is a non-cumulative sinking fund. What do you mean by non-cumulative sinking fund funds? See, you have got sinking fund and you are making investments. That investment will generate the interest. That interest plus current year appropriation from the profit, both if are being invested, that is called as a cumulative sinking fund. But if uh, interest which you are getting on sinking fund is not again getting reinvested, it is called as a non-cumulative sinking fund is the point. So, if sinking fund is non-cumulative, interest received on sinking fund investment will not be created to the sinking fund account, nor it will be invested, the amount of interest will be created to the P and L account is the points. Interest on own debentures is transferred to the uh, sinking fund account is the points. And uh, interest on own debentures is nothing but what is the interest that you saved from being uh, paid off is what we call it as a interest on own debentures. So, profit on sale of own debentures will be transferred to which account? Profit on own sale of own debentures will be transferred to the P and L account as the points. So, that is the end of a theory aspect of the debentures. Z limited secured an overdraft of 50,000 from a bank by issuing 600 5 percent debentures of rupees 100 each as a collateral security. Prepare a balance sheet of the company. So, here the issue here is once debentures are issued as a matter of collateral security against a loan taken by the company, what we studied in the theory? Option 1 is there is no need for any entry. Option 2 is you can pass a dummy entry called as a debenture suspense account data to debentures. Once that loan gets repaid, the entry is to be reversed. How the disclosures will come once you pass the entry is the points. So, write the points. Balance sheet of Z limited, balance sheet of Z limited as it as x. Liabilities amount asset amount. In the liabilities you write secured loan, secured loan under the secured loan you write bank overdraft, bank overdraft again as that in the amount column 50,000 and in the brackets secured by, secured by issue of, issue of 600 600 5 percent debentures, 
600 5 percent debentures of rupees 100 each of rupees 100 each as collateral security as collateral security that is it. So, once you adopt this mode that means what you are not passing any entry got the point note we will not make we will not pass any entry we will not pass any entry for debentures issued as a collateral security for debentures issued as collateral security but will only disclose through balance sheet but will only disclose through balance sheet below the loan below the loan against which against which debentures are issued as a collateral security debentures are issued as a collateral security now friends you may ask me a question that what is the fun in a, a li one liability is offered as a collateral security against the other liability generally we you might have seen an asset being offered as a collateral security how come sir a liability is being offered as a collateral security to the what you call another liability what is the fun in doing all this exercise under the provisions of companies act what will happen friends debentures will have a floating charge over all the assets of the company so keeping that in the mind in case for a particular unsecured loan if a debentures are offered as a collateral security if company goes into liquidation this particular unsecured loan will get a priority in making the payment over the other what you call unsecured liabilities because the next moment this unsecured loan will partake the character of the debentures and debentures will have a floating charge over the assets of the company that made us to say that a particular debenture is being issued as a matter of collateral security against the other debenture other unsecured loans next option 2 just now what we conclude is a option 1 option 2 is we will pass the entry what is the entry debenture suspends account data debenture suspends account data to debentures account debenture suspends account data to debentures account 60000 60000 narration issue of issue of 600 600 5 percent debentures of issue of 600 5 percent debentures of rupees 100 each of rupees 100 each as collateral security as collateral security for a bank overdraft for a bank overdraft of rupees 50,000 of rupees 50,000 as per as per board's resolution as per board's resolution dated dash dash balance sheet of z limited next balance sheet of a z limited as it dash brackets and extracts and extracts liabilities liabilities secured loan 
secured loan below that 600 5% debentures 600 5% debentures of rupees 100 each 60,000 brackets issued as collateral security issued as collateral security as per contra issued as a collateral security as per contra next bank overdraft bank overdraft 50,000 and in the brackets secured by secured by issue of 600 5 percent debentures 5 percent debentures of rupees 100 each of rupees 100 each as collateral security as collateral security then friends on to the asset side miscellaneous expenses under miscellaneous expenses it will be shown miscellaneous expenses debenture suspense account debenture suspense account as per contra debenture suspense account as per contra 60,000. Then friends, we move to the next question. So, in the first questions, in the second option, you are passing the entry in the balance sheet on the liability side, you are getting secured loan in the form of debentures. On to the asset side, you have got debenture suspense account under the miscellaneous expenditure. Although it is very simple, if we do not prepare and go in the exam, this itself could turn out to be a very big issue. Next, discount on issue of debentures, R limited issued debentures at 94 percent for 1 lakh on 1st April 1983, repayable by 5 equal annual drawings of 20,000 each. The company closes its account on calendar year basis. Indicate the amount of discount to be written off every accounting year, assuming that the company decide to write off the debenture discount during the life of the debentures. Here, we would not have got into any problem in case at the beginning of each financial year or at the end of the each financial year, they are going to what you call a redeem the part of the debentures. But here, we are in a peculiar situation. What kind of peculiar situation? That is, on 1st April, they got issued and every time when they will get redeemed? on 31st March they gets redeemed, but your financial year is what calendar year, your financial year is a calendar year, whereas redemption is taking place or uh, every year on 31st March they are going to get a redeemed 20,000, 20,000 like that. So, this has a created a situation wherein although in 5 years they are going to get redeemed, the total period gets spread over the 6 years. How come? How come the total period gets spread over the 6 years? See, your 1983 is one financial year, 84 is one financial year, 85 one financial year, 86 one financial year, 87 one financial year, but ultimately the total gets redeemed by but 31st March 1988. So, that is falling into 6 financial years. So, first write down the point, 
amount of debenture capital amount of debenture capital utilized in various years amount of debenture capital utilized in various years you write in this way three columns year ended year ended amount and months then equivalent annual amount equivalent annual amount equivalent annual amount kaise aayega aapko amount into months divided by 12 amount into months divided by 12 will give you the equivalent annual amount amount into months divided by 12 will give you the equivalent annual amount first for the year ended on 31st december 1984 for the year ended on 31st december 1983 for the year ended on 31st december 1983 in the amount column the amount and the months column 1 lakh for 9 months 1 lakh for 9 months how come 1 lakh for 9 months from 1st april 1983 to 31st December 1983. How many months? Nine months. Amount that is there is what is a one lakh. One lakh for nine months means one lakh into nine equivalent annual amount. How to calculate? One lakh into nine divided by twelve. Itna ra seventy five thousand. Next for the year ended on 31st December 1984. For the year ended on 31st December 1984. Two two amounts aa jayega. Kaisa one lakh for three months. One lakh for three months. Kaisa one lakh for three months? Because from first January to thirty first March continues to be one lakh. On thirty first March you are redeeming twenty thousand means eighty thousand is for the next nine months. So one lakh for three months. And one more thing is eighty thousand for nine months. Ab. एनुअल इक्वलेंट एनुअल अमाउंट कैसे कैलकुलेट करते हैं आप वन लैक इंटू थ्री प्लस एटी थाउजेंड इंटू नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व वन लैक इंटू थ्री प्लस एटी फाइव थाउजेंड इंटू एटी थाउजेंड इंटू नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व मेक्स इट टू वॉट एटी फाइव थाउजेंड एटी फाइव थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व Itna ra eighty five thousand. Next, for the year ended on thirty first December nineteen eighty five. For the year ended on thirty first December nineteen eighty five. How much? Eighty thousand for three months. Sixty thousand for nine months. Sixty thousand for nine months. Equivalent annual amount kaise aayega? Eighty thousand into three. Plus sixty thousand into nine divided by twelve. Now huh? here we are getting sixty-five, sixty-five thousand. Next for the year ended on thirty-first December nineteen eighty-six. For the year ended on thirty-first December nineteen eighty-six. Sixty thousand into three plus forty thousand into nine divided by twelve. That and all makes it to what? Forty forty-five thousand. Next, for the year ended on thirty-first December nineteen eighty-seven. For the year ended on thirty-first December nineteen eighty-seven. कैसे करते हैं फोर्टी थाउजेंड फॉर थ्री मंथ्स एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड फॉर नाइन मंथ्स दैट एंड ऑल वर्क्स आउट टू बी फोर्टी थाउजेंड इंटू थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इंटू नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड 
But the year ended on 31st December 1988. But the year ended on 31st December 1988. 20,000 for 3 months, 0 for 9 months. That is 20,000 into 3 plus 0 into 9 divided by 12. How much? 5,000. Now, the amount of the discount, the amount of the discount on issue of shares, on issue of shares will be charged to profit and loss account, will be charged to the profit and loss account in the ratio of, in the ratio of effective utilization of funds, in the ratio of effective utilization of the funds. What is that ratio friends? If you take 5000 as a common factor, it is 15 is to, write it, 15 is to, 17 is to, 13 is to, 9 is to, 5 is to 1. Thus, the amount to be written off, thus the amount to be written off in various years, in a various years. In the following manner, year and amount of discount, two columns. So, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. Total amount of the discount is how much? 6,000. 6, Kaisa 6,000, 1 lakh into 6 percent is equal to 6,000. Right, other way around, a small working notes below it. You write discount is equal to one lakh into six percent is equal to one lakh into six percent is equal to six thousand. So that six thousand, how do you apportion, friends? What is the total of the proportions? Fifteen plus seventeen plus thirteen plus nine plus five plus one. Fifteen plus seventeen plus thirteen plus nine plus five plus one. Kitna? 60. 60. Right. So, for 1983, 6,000 6, divided by 60 into 15. 1,500. 1984, 6,000 divided by 60 into 17. 1,700. For the 1985, 6000 divided by 60 into 13, 1300. For 1986, 6000 divided by 60 into 9, 900. For 1987, 6000 divided by 60 into 5, 500. For 1988, 6000 divided by 60 into 1. How much? 100. Sum total is 6000 is the point. Conversion of debentures. The summarized balance sheet of convertible limited as on 30th June 1989 stood as follows. Liabilities, share capital 5 lakh shares of rupees 10 each, fully paid 50 lakhs, general reserve 75 lakhs, debenture redemption fund 50,000, 50 lakhs, 13.5 percent convertible debentures of rupees 1 lakh debentures, uh, 1 lakh debentures of rupees 100 each, 1 crore, other loans 50 lakhs. Current liabilities and provisions 1 crore 25 lakhs. Assets, fixed assets at costless depreciation 1 crore 60 lakhs. Debenture redemption fund investment 40 lakhs. Cash and bank balance. 50 lakhs, 
other current assets 2 crores, total is 4 crores 50 lakhs. The debentures are due for redemption on 1st July 1989. The terms of the debentures provided that they were redeemed at a premium of 5 percent and also conferred option to the debenture holders to convert 20 percent of their holdings into equity shares at a predetermined price of 15.75 per share and the payment in cash. Assuming that except 100 debenture holders holding totally 25,000 debentures, the rest of them exercise the option for maximum conversion. The investment will realize 44 lakhs on sale, all the transactions put through without any lag on 1st July 1989, redraft the balance sheet of the company on 1st July 1989 after giving the effect to the redemption. Show your calculations in respect of the number of equity shares to be allotted and the cash payment which is necessary. So, basically here the problem requires us to do what? Requires us to calculate how much is to be paid in cash and how much is to be paid by way of equity shares. Here the option for conversion is there friends, but the maximum option that they can exercise is what 20 percent of their holdings they can opt to do what? They can opt to, to go for conversion into equity shares. 80 percent kaisa bhi aap cash se pay karna hi karna. You are the point. Now, it is that not all the shareholders, all the debenture holders opted for conversion. Out of that 100, deb uh, 100 debenture holders, not shareholders, 100 debenture holders who are holding 25,000 debentures, they have not accepted for any conversion, only balanced people exercise the option for conversion. So, first uh, what we need to find out is how much is to be paid in cash and how much is to be transferred to the shares account is the point. Write the working notes. Calculation of number of shares to be allotted. Calculation of number of shares to be allotted. First, total number of debentures. Total number of debentures. One lakh less number of debentures not opting for conversion, not opting for conversion twenty five thousand balance. 75,000. That 75,000 debentures also maximum conversion is what? Only 20 percent. Write the point. Maximum conversion permitted is maximum conversion permitted is 20 percent of 75,000. 20 percent of 75,000. 15, 15,000, 15,000. Now, redemption value of 15,000 debentures, redemption value of 15,000 debentures. Debentures are redeemable at what price friends? 15.75. Got the point? How come 15.75? What is stated? Debentures are due for redemption on 1st July 1989. The terms of the issue of debentures provided that they were redeemed at a premium of 5 percent. At a premium of uh, uh, 5 percent means how much? That is for every 100 rupees 
they are going to redeem at 105 rupees. So, right, redeem, redeemable value of 15,000 debentures, kaise calculate karte aap? 15,000 into 105 percent, 15,000 into 105 percent makes it to what? 15 lakhs, 15 lakhs. like that you should say, 15 lakhs, 75,000 is the redemption value of the 15,000 debentures. That 15.75 is what? Issue price of the equity share, which they are going to opt for, in case if they opt to go for conversion, the issue price of the equity share is what? 15.75. So, amount payable to these 15 thousand debentures is what? 15,75,000. So, using that 15,75,000, how many number of shares are going to be issued to them? Write down. Number of shares to be issued number of shares to be issued is equal to consideration divided by issue price, consideration divided by issue price that is 15,75,000 divided by 15.75, 15.75 thousand divided by 15.75 makes it to what? 1 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each. Face value 10 each, 5.75 is the premium. Next friend, second working notes is calculation of calculation of cash to be paid. Calculation of cash to be paid. First, number of debentures, number of debentures, total number of debentures 1 lakh, less number of debentures to be converted into equity shares, less number of debentures to be converted into equity shares 15,000 balance is 85,000. Now, redemption value of 85,000 debentures, redemption value of 85,000 debentures how come 85,000 into 105, 85,000 into 105 makes it to how much? 89 lakhs 25,000. Now, cash and bank balance, working notes 3, cash and bank balance. Working notes 3. Balance before redemption, how much is there in the balance in the balance sheet? Balance before redemption, itna 50 lakhs. Add proceeds of investment sold, add proceeds of investment sold. Receipts of investment sold, how much? 44 lakhs. Investment bechne se kitna ra? 44 lakhs ara. Kaisa? DSO hai. Right. Total is what? 94 lakhs. Less cash paid to the debenture holders. Less cash paid to the debenture holders. Kitna? 89 lakhs 25,000, 89 lakhs 25,000, taki closing cash balance will be, closing cash balance will be 4 lakhs 75,000. Next, calculation of general reserve, calculation of closing balance of general reserve, working notes 4, calculation of closing balance of general reserve. That is opening balance, opening a balance, 
seventy five lakhs. Opening balance seventy five lakhs. Once debentures gets redeemed, debenture redemption fund should get transferred to which account? General reserve account. So add debenture redemption fund transfer. Add debenture redemption fund transfer. How much? Fifty lakhs. Total is one lakh twenty one crore twenty five lakhs. Add profit on sale of investment. Add profit on sale of investment. Investment book value is how much? Investment book value कितना है? One forty lakhs, and it got sold for forty four lakhs. In the inner column, forty four lakhs minus forty lakhs, forty four lakhs minus forty lakhs, four lakhs. Then friends, that makes to one crore twenty nine lakhs. That makes to One crore twenty nine lakhs. Less premium on redemption of debentures. Less premium on redemption of debentures. The rental is how much? One crore into five percent, five lakhs. So that there will be how much? One crore twenty four lakhs. Balance. Write a small note. Premium on redemption of debentures. Premium on redemption of debentures may also be adjusted against. May also be adjusted against security premium account. May also be adjusted against security premium account. How do we pass the entries? Shall we do that? Debentures को कैसे close करते हैं आप? Debentures account data, debentures account data, one crore. Premium on redemption of debentures account data. Premium on redemption of debentures account data. Five lakhs. Two debenture holders. Two debenture holders. One crore five lakhs. One crore five lakhs. Now, how the debenture holders are getting discharged? Write the entry: debenture holders account data, debenture holders account data, one crore five lakhs, one crore five lakhs, one crore five lakhs. Two cash. Eighty nine lakhs, twenty five thousand, two equity share capital, two equity share capital, ten lakhs, two security premium, कितना? Five lakhs. Seventy-five thousand, isn't it or not? Huh? Five lakhs, seventy-five thousand. Each share of ten rupees is issued for fifteen rupees seventy-five NP. Five rupees seventy-five NP is the security premium. One lakh shares into five rupees seventy-five NP is five lakh seventy-five thousand. Entry balance हो गया नहीं हुआ? हाँ, वैसा. बाद में investment sale के लिए entry लगा दो. इन्वेस्टमेंट सेल करे तो इन्वेस्टमेंट क्रेडिट कर देना तो बैंक के अकाउंट डेटा आर फोर्टी फोर लैक्स टू इन्वेस्टमेंट फोर्टी लैक्स 
to profit on sale of investment to profit on sale of investment na for lakhs profit on sale of investment ko kaha transfer kar diye aap general reserve ko entry laga do profit on sale of investment account debtor to profit on sale of investment account debtor to जनरल रिजर्व कितना फोर लैक्स फोर लैक्स नेक्स्ट द मोमेंट डिवेंचर गॉट रिडीम्ड यू आर ट्रांसफरिंग द डिवेंचर रिडम्शन रिजर्व टू द जनरल रिजर्व तो एंट्री क्या लगा रहे लिख लो डिवेंचर रिडम्शन रिजर्व और डिवेंचर रिडम्शन फंड अकाउंट डेटर टू जनरल रिजर्व डिवेंचर रिडम्शन फंड अकाउंट डेटर टू जनरल रिजर्व makes it to how much 50 lakhs 50 lakhs you have got a premium on redemption of debentures that need to be closed from where you are closing through general reserve account write the entry general reserve account debtor to general reserve account debtor to premium on redemption of debentures premium on a redemption of debentures write the balance sheet friends balance sheet as on july 1 equity share capital presently 50 lakhs in future 60 lakhs so equity share capital of rupees 10 each 60 lakhs general reserve already you arrived at the balance 1 crore 24 lakhs security premium account 5 lakh 75000 other loans other loans 50 lakhs current liabilities and provisions current liabilities and provisions 1 crore 25 lakhs 1 crore 25 lakhs next fixed assets asset side fixed assets 1 crore 60 lakhs investment to close ho gaye cash and bank balance cash and bank balance kitna 475000 other current assets 2 crores other current assets 2 crores so other, uh, other current assets 2 crores only totally 3 crores 64 lakh 75000 then we will do the next problem next problem we are moving to the next model isn't it own debentures for immediate cancellation own debentures for immediate cancellation on january 1st rama limited has outstanding in its books 500 debentures of rupees 100 each interest 6% per annum in accordance with the powers in the deed directors acquired in the open market debentures for immediate cancellation as follows march 1st 5000 at 98 come interest august 1st 10000 at 100.25 come interest December fifteenth, two thousand five hundred at ninety-eight point five x interest. Debenture interest is payable half yearly on thirtieth June and thirty-first December. Show the ledger accounts of debenture, debenture interest, and profit on cancellation. Ignore, ignoring the taxation. Ignoring the 
a taxation. Okay. First, the student need to have the clarity regarding the come interest and the ex interest. Please write down. Company usually make the payment of interest. Company usually make the payment of interest. twice in a year that is half yearly that is half yearly when debenture holder makes sale of Eventure at any time, at any time, there will be accrued interest. There will be accrued interest. that accrued interest is for a period of that accrued interest is for the period from the last due date from the last due date for payment of interest from the last due date for payment of interest to the date of transfer to the date of transfer. Such accrued interests, next, such accrued interests, seller will collect from the buyer, seller will collect from the buyer. And on the next due date, on the next due date, buyer will receive, buyer will receive total interest for six months, total interest for six months from the company, from the company next when seller makes the quotation when seller makes the quotation we should find out whether such quotation is inclusive of interest or or are exclusive of interest in case if it is inclusive of interest, we will term it as come interest quotation, we will term it as come interest quotation and if it is and if it is exclusive of interest, we will term it as X interest quotation.
in case of x interest quotation in case of x interest quotation case of x interest quotation buyer will pay in addition buyer will pay in addition to the quoted price to the quoted price accrued interest to the seller to the seller now purchase cost next point purchase cost in case of come interest quotation is equal to come interest quotation is equal to quotation price minus accrued interest next purchase price in case of purchase price in case of x interest quotation x interest quotation is equal to quotation price only is equal to quotation price only now with this understanding we should proceed to do the problem one small note you please write note unless the problem specifies that unless the problem specifies that quotation is a common trust quotation quotation is a common trust quotation all the quotations all the quotations are to be assumed as are to be assumed as what x interest quotation only in the exam if nothing is specified it is to be taken as what x interest quotation okay good shall we proceed to do the problem so here kya ho raha debentures are purchased for immediate cancellation so there is no need for our opening a own debentures account own debentures account kholne ka zarurat kuch bhi nahi hai aur one more happiest thing here is what your financial year is a calendar year your due dates for interest is what 30th june and 31st december so there is no accrued interest at the beginning of the financial year when it will be the case if your financial year is a calendar year If you are paying interest on 31st March and 30th September, then what will happen? 31st December, co three months interest becomes accrued but not at a become due. Such a problem is not there in this particular problem because interest to due date is coinciding with the what you call last day of the financial year. 